Hey everybody, XCI here. Welcome back to a blind let's play of Metal Gear Solid. We're after Revolver Ocelot. Uh, I think I got his... Uh, I'm gonna punch his ticket. I think I figured him out. It's a matter of uh, him not cheating. As soon as he stops cheating, I'll start winning. <laughs> that ricochet shit. And shoot a couple times and leave is my, is my plan here. No. No. Uh, bitch. Hurry up. The old man's not gonna last long. Uh, <laughs> that was always that's always a dangerous one again. This? Turn around, snake! Oh fuck! And now I got one bullet. Awesome! Yay! Yay! And now I'm dead. And now I'm dead. We're still in. We're in it to win it. Oh fuck! Fuck! I love this. I was doing a test there. I'm like, what I just need to get him. Bitch. Oh, damn it. Give me the ammo. Give me the ammo. Re. Oh. Wait a minute. Thank you. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Oh, Baba. Habibi, Baba. Hey, Baba. Hey, bye. Hey, bye. Come on. You think I can't play that game? Nah, sir. Nah, sir. Come on, you can't get me. Nah. Nah, you stay on your side, I stay on mine. Come on, take a shot. Take a shot. Oh, you can't get it. You can't line one up, huh? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, ho, ho. Come on, then. We're gonna play some clown music now, bitch. Oh, leave that man alone. Oh, 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 now I'm stuck on the wall. Go, 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 go. Yes, sir. One more bullet. Son of a bitch, it's gone. Respawn bullets. Respawn bullets. Respawn bullets. Come on. I got this one. Here, let's let's get him in a dance. Let's get him in a dance here. Maybe a little love. Oh god. Oh god, it's like a wall. Move. Wait a minute. Let go of the wall right now. Oh, I gotcha. Gotcha. Dies? Oh, I you son of a bitch! Wait I think I can take one more shot. Why do I have to spam shoot? Just shoot twice and stop. You don't have the ammo for this, you jackass. Oh man, I now watch. It's gonna come down to like me not having any. Oh my god. No! 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 I hope you find a way to break these guys. Uh, uh. Now, now, just stop and weep. Oh, okay, that's the moment. That's the moment. Okay, now we're gonna do this last one. Uh, okay, I've compromised myself. No, 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 no. <laughs> that was it. That was my chance. Oh no, 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 no. Pretty good. Just what I'd expect from the man with the same code as the boss. It's been a long time since I had such no, a good you're dead. fight. But I'm just getting warmed up. No, no, I don't want to do this. What? My hand! Oh! Oh! Don't make me fight us. Who the hell? <laughs> okay, okay. Can you talk? Take a break. Let's just take a break. Who are you? I'm not one of them. 
The DARPA chief told me he gave them his detonation code. What about yours? Oh, I get it. Jim sent you. You're, you're from the Pentagon. Answer my question. Jim Gordon? What about your code? There's no time. I... talked. What? Now the terrorists have both codes and can launch any time. It's not like I didn't fight. I managed to resist Psycho Mantis's mind probe. He couldn't read you? How'd you do it? Surgical implants in my brain. Surgical implants? Kind of like a psychic insulation. Everyone Indian who knows atomic. these top secret codes has it. Even the DARPA chief? Of course. But the DARPA chief said Mantis got his code by reading his mind. Are you sure you heard him right? Yeah, I'm sure. In that case, how did they get your code? I never had any training on how to resist torture. <coughs> it looks like he had some fun with you, all right. Oh, he's not human. I tell you, he loved every second of it. What happened to your arm? He broke it. Looks like you're more than even now. His was sliced off. Ha, huh, you're a funny man. So the DARPA chief, is he okay? Dead. What? I can't be. No, no, that's not what you promised, Jim. Now you want to shut me up? Oh. Hey, calm down. What's wrong with you? I just told you I was here to save you. Uh, I didn't kill the DARPA chief. He had a heart attack or something. A heart attack? Oh, don't be a fool. Anyway, the terrorists have both codes now. Those boys are totally insane. They wouldn't hesitate to launch. I agree, but what do they really want? Oh, who knows? Maybe they're like us in the arms industry, always looking forward to the next good war. Well, I'm not gonna let these maniacs start a war today. You still have the card keys? Card keys? To override the detonation code, I heard you had them. No, not anymore. What? Who does then? Not the terrorists? No, that woman. Woman? Who? A soldier that was thrown in prison along with me. A female soldier, it must be. She said she had just joined up as a new recruit. They threw her in prison because she refused to take part in the rebellion. A new recruit? Could that be the Colonel's niece? Hmm. I gave her the key. Looks like she managed to break out of here though. I hope she's okay. I'm sure she is. She's green, but as tough as they come. But how did you know she escaped? I was in contact with her by Kodak. Until I was tied up here, that is. Kodak? Yes. She stole it from the guard. If she still has it, you should be able to contact her. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm sure she still has it. What frequency was she at? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Let me tell you, it's... Shut up. Oh. Sorry. I forgot. Damn! Hey, fuck. Hey, the asshole. Oh, that's right. It should be on the back of the CD case. Try to contact her. I'll contact her right away. But tell me, if this doesn't work, is there some other way to prevent the missile launch? What CD case? <laughs> you need to find Hal Emmerich, one of my employees. Who's that? The team leader of the Metal Gear Rex project. A genius at engineering, but a little bit of an oddball. If there's anyone who can figure out how to stop Metal Gear from launching, it's him. What if he can't come up with anything? You'll have to destroy it. Emmerich knows how to destroy Metal Gear. Where is this Emmerich? Well, he's probably being held somewhere in the Nuclear Warhead Storage Building. It's north from here. That's where he worked. I understand, but why Metal Gear? The Nuclear Age ended with the turn of the Millennium. Oh, you're wrong. The threat of Nuclear War isn't gone. In fact, it's greater than it's ever been. The amount of spent nuclear fuel and plutonium is increasing even today. Listen, have you ever seen a warehouse full of nuclear material? No. Drums and drums of nuclear waste stacked this high, as far as you can see. Because there's still no real way to dispose of the stuff. So they just close the lid and try to pretend like it'll go away? Uh, essentially, yes. And they're not even doing a good job of storing it. Many of the drums are corroded, with nuclear waste seeping out of them. Unbelievable. Not only that, but several pounds of muff are reported every year. Muff? It stands for material unaccounted for. It proves that there's a large and well-organized black market in nuclear materials. 
Furthermore, since the end of the Cold War, Russian nuclear engineers in particular are out of work with no way to turn. In other words, there's plenty of available nuclear material and scientists for making a bomb. We live in an age when any small country can have a nuclear weapons program. What about the other superpowers? Uh, Russia and China still maintain a significant nuclear presence. Complete nuclear disarmament is an impossibility. To maintain our own policy of deterrence, we need a weapon of overwhelming power. You mean Metal Gear. Yes. You know our industry suffered quite a blow as a result of the cuts in military budgets due to this so-called peace. I remember hearing a lot about mergers and takeovers among the big weapons makers. Yes, and after my company lost their bid to produce the Air Force's next line of fighter jet, the Metal Gear system was our last ace in the hole. That's why we pushed to have Metal Gear developed as a black project. Black project? Secret projects paid for by the Pentagon's black budget. You can avoid a lot of red tape and get a great lead time on your weapons production. And no one can bother you. Not even those bleeding heart liberals on the Military Oversight Committee. Bribes. I prefer to think of it as good business. Anyway, Metal Gear was going to be formally adopted after the results of this exercise were analyzed. I don't give a crap about you and your company. Yes, that's about what I'd expect from a grunt like you. Here, th this is what you came for, right? What's that? An optical disc. It's all here. The main hard drive was destroyed by gunfire. This is the only remaining copy of the data. What kind of data? All the data collected from this exercise. Don't play dumb. I know you were sent to get this. I hid it from that sadistic maniac while he was torturing me. They don't know this disc exists. Make sure you report this to Jim. To your boss. I'll give you my card too. It'll open up all security level two doors. Can you walk? No. No, you go on without me. They got my password. They don't want anything else from me. I have one more question. Who or what was that ninja thing? It looked like you knew something. That ninja? That was Foxhound's dark little secret. Dark little secret? An experimental genome soldier. <coughs> snake eyes. Uh, Solid snake eyes. You know him? You should ask Dr. Naomi Hunter from Foxhound. Oh. She knows better than I. Naomi. You've got to stop them. If it goes public, my company and I are finished. What? Doesn't Metal Gear use currently existing technology? Metal Why? Gear itself does, but... What? What did you do to me? Oh, no. Oh, no, it can't be. Those Pentagon bastards. So, they, they actually went in. Did it? What are you talking about? They, they, they're just using you for... Come again? What the hell? Colonel, are you listening? Now he's dead too. I have no idea. Don't lie to me. It looked like another heart attack, but... Some kind of poison? Well, there are lots of drugs that can cause a heart attack in large doses. For example, potassium chloride or dioxides, but we won't be able to tell without doing an autopsy. Damn! Snake, I want you and Meryl to work together. Can I trust her? More than you can trust me. Get in contact with her. Snake, there's a lot of electrical interference coming from there. It should be okay if you do burst transmission like us, but normal transmission is probably impossible. Try moving away from that area. Snake, get a hold of yourself. Naomi, what the hell was that ninja thing? A member of Foxhound? No. Are you sure? Yes, we have no one like that in our unit. Is that right? Snake, I'm counting on you. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, it took so long, my Android controller turns off. 
goes to sleep. Jeez Louise. Okay. Um, tell me something. Did you uh, save after all of that? Or am I going to have to do that all over again? Oh good, they just upgraded. Disc. Uh, uh, okay. How do I get that friggin' number? I don't know. So let's go. You know what, though? This is a good time to possibly. The DARPA chief and President Baker. So now the terrorists know both detonation codes. Yeah, and on top of that, they both died right in front of my eyes. Snake. Now that the terrorists have both detonation codes, the only way to stop a nuclear launch is to either use the detonation code release keys that Merrill's holding, or... Or find the Metal Gear chief engineer that President Baker mentioned, Hal Emmerich. In any case, you should contact Merrill by codec. Wasn't her frequency written on the back of the CD case? Snake, you can't use your radar in that area. There's some kind of electronic jamming coming from there. I wonder what it is. Anyway, be careful. Sure. Be careful, Snake. Now let's do 4180. First, the DARPA chief, and then President Baker die of a heart attack? Yeah, smells pretty rotten to me. Master, do you know anything? No, but there's definitely something going on. Keep your eyes open out there. Did he actually call him Master? I'm gonna call him Guile. I'm gonna call him Guile. It's my better name. And then there's the CD, ca CD case. CD case. The disc right here, man. The optic CD disc thing. God, is it meta? Is it like the game CD case? No way. Oh man, I'm suspecting this is... What? Oh my god, am I literally stuck here? Man, if this is some sort of like meta DRM bullshit, then I'm, I'm stuck. I can't do anything in the game, I'm done. Well, that might be where I take a break until I catch up editing and someone can help me. I'm not going to look this up because I don't want to spoil at this point. I've gotten this far. So you know what? We're going to wrap this up right here. Hopefully this doesn't mangle things. But um, do, 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 do. let's save. Uh, right here, yeah. But I was told that I actually I screwed up the... I missed some stuff here. Now that I got a controller, maybe I'll be able to see what I'm doing. All right, there it is. I had to push sideways. My bad. Now that I got the toggle controller, it sort of made more sense. You know what? I probably could have used. I could have used the keyboard. I screwed up. Anyways, let's watch the rest of these briefing files with the time that we have left this episode. Tell me about the nuclear weapon disposal facility. The disposal facility includes a hardened underground base. Even with our most advanced intelligence gathering equipment, we can't tell what's happening inside. So someone needs to penetrate. Gather intelligence and report back. Sounds like a spy movie. What's the insertion method? Uh, well, an air insertion is impossible. Not with this storm going on. We'll approach the disposal facility by sub. Approach? Yes, within a few miles of it. The facility is equipped with sonar detection capabilities. They'd be able to hear our engine or propeller noise. And then? We'll launch a one-man SDV. Launch? Same as a torpedo. Only this has no propulsion device of its own. After the SDV gets as close as it can, dispose of it. From there on, you'll have to swim. You want me to swim in sub-zero Alaskan water? Don't worry. That suit represents the latest advances in polythermal technology. The nuclear weapons disposal facility covers the whole island. I'll instruct you by codec after you reach your target. Anyone going with me? As usual, this is a one-man infiltration mission. Weapons and equipment OSP? Yes. This is a top secret black op. Don't expect any official support. Well, that would have given us some context, but I mean, we got that from the movie, so it's, it's all good. Oh my god. 
god. More things open up. What's the time limit? 24 hours. They say they'll launch after 24 hours. Do they say what the target will be? So far, they haven't mentioned the target. When did the countdown start? Five hours ago. I mean, the better solution here from a design perspective is obviously for them not to have done it this way. <laughs> like, this seems like good information to put up front in your game and make it mandatory because and before that cinematic that gives you the open of the game because this is this is the story behind the open of the game like it really should have been put like forced into uh the con into a sequential pattern for the player but sort of just strange approach here colonel who are you speaking for naturally i'm representing the u.s government so who's in supervisory control of this operation? The President of the United States. Which means that the President must be meeting with his top aides in the map room about now, huh? No, at this point they're still video conferencing with each other. If that's a real nuclear warhead, shouldn't they issue a COG? Not yet. The Secretary of Defense has operational control and is fully aware of the situation. After you infiltrate, if you determine they possess nuclear launch capabilities, a COG will be issued. Well, if they haven't relocated to the nuclear shelter under Mount Washington, I suppose there isn't that much reason to worry yet. Is the National Security Agency in on this? Yes. So is the DIA, the Defense Intelligence Agency. The DIA? I'm starting to get a bad feeling about this. They'll be sending us some support. We don't need desk jockeys. We need a nuclear weapons specialist. Of course. A nuclear weapons specialist has already been assigned to us. Interesting. Well, that's sort of news. <clears throat> we need backup from a specialist. I'm just an amateur when it comes to nuclear weapons. I know. That's why I've requested the assistance of a military analyst named Nastasha Romanenko. She'll be providing you backup by Kodak. A crazy. female analyst? She's built up an impressive record as an advisor for the nuclear emergency search team. Contact her if oh, you have wow. any questions. She's That's also bad. an expert on high-tech weapons. Where's she working from? At her home in Los Angeles. California. Seems like a million miles away. at the same time as something special. <laughs> I think I got it. Roy Campbell. Colonel, you're retired. Why are you involved in this? Because there aren't many people who know Foxhound as well as I do. Is that really the only reason? I've been soldiering for a long time. I don't know anything else. I guess even though I'm getting a little old, I still love to be in the field. Colonel, you're a lousy liar. Tell me the real reason. Okay, Snake. Sorry. I'll be frank. A person very dear to me is being held hostage. Who is it? My niece, Meryl. Alright, that would have been the context for the line we just received as well about Meryl. What was your niece doing here? Several soldiers were reported missing the day of the revolt. And my niece was one of those called in as an emergency replacement. She looks like you. She's my little brother's girl. He died in the Gulf War. And since then, I've been watching after her. A personal motive, Colonel. That's not very soldierly. I'm retired. I'm just an old man now. And I'm your friend. Since when are we friends? I've thought of us as friends since the fall of Zanzibar. With my personality, I don't have too many friends. That's what I trust about you. It's what makes you human. Please, Snake. Save my niece, Meryl. All right. She's being but I have two conditions. To Name them. The opposite sex. One, no more red. secrets between us. I want complete disclosure at all times. And two, I'll thing. only accept orders directly from you, Colonel. No oh. cutoffs involved, okay? But if you don't know if you can trust them. Agreed. That's why I was called. 
But All one right. thing. What? I'm not a colonel anymore. Just a retired old war horse. Mm, I understand. Better. Colonel. Give him a shot. Alright. Uh, now. That doctor, is she part of this operation too? She was in charge of Foxhound's gene therapy. She knows more about those men than anyone else. You mean you've seen them naked? Make no mistake, I'm not a nurse. I'm a scientist. By the way, what was that injection for? It's a combination of nanomachines and an anti-freezing peptide so that your blood and other bodily fluids don't freeze, even at sub-arctic temperatures. Nanomachines? Yeah, Not just one kind, either. There are different types which will replenish the supply of adrenaline, nutrition, and sugar in your bloodstream. Oh, now I don't have to worry about food. I also put some nootropics in there. Say what? Nootropics. A class of drugs which will help improve your mental functioning. It'll make me smarter, huh? Anything else? Yes. Benzedrine. It's a type of stimulant. It'll keep you alert and responsive for 12 straight hours. That was quite a cocktail. Anything else in there? Those nanomachines will also keep your codex batteries charged up. Jeez. Well, I guess I can call you when I'm ready to go on a diet. You're welcome. Sad work walking up in here. All right, what's next? We are to that one. This is a biggie. Hostages. The chief of DARPA and the president of an arms manufacturing company. What business did they have at a nuclear weapons disposal facility? The truth is that secret exercises were being conducted at the time the terrorist group attacked. Must be extremely important exercises if those two were directly involved. Were they testing some kind of new advanced weapon? I'm not privy to that information. Do we know exactly where they're being that gets held? In the, game. the DAPA chief has also Which been injected with the mini transmitter. Here, As you get closer, you should be able to pick up his location on your radar. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do they really have the ability to launch a nuclear missile? They say they do. They even gave us the serial number of the warhead they plan to use. How about they give me the What's serial the number, number confirmed? The case? I'm afraid so. At the very least, they've got their hands on a real nuclear like warhead. Isn't there some kind of safety device to prevent this type of terrorism? Yes. Every missile and warhead in our arsenal is equipped with a PAL, which uses a discreet detonation code. PAL. Permissive action link. The safety control system built into all nuclear weapons systems. But even so, we can't rest easy. Why not? Because the DARPA chief knows the detonation code. But even if they have a nuclear warhead, it must have been removed from its missile. All the missiles on these disposal sites are supposed to be dismantled. It's not that easy to get your hands on an ICBM. That used to be true. But since the end of the Cold War, you can get anything if you have enough money and the right connections. Mm -hmm. How well armed are these terrorists? I know there was an exercise going on at the time they revolted. They're heavily armed, I'm afraid. What about their battle experience? The six members of Foxhound in charge are all hardened veterans. They're tough enough to eat nails and ask for seconds. I wouldn't expect anything less from Foxhound. The others are next generation special forces. They're not your average grunts either. Ah, that was short. Okay. I love that it sounds like a VHS coming out of <laughs> a VHS. So what exactly are they demanding? A person's remains. Remains? That's right. To be more accurate, cell specimens which contain the individual's genomic information. Cell specimens? Why would they want that? The terrorists need them. You see, these next generation special forces have been strengthened through gene therapy. Strengthened? You've heard of the Human Genome Project. They've been mapping the human genome, and they're nearly finished. Following up on this research, the military has been working towards identifying those genes which are responsible for making effective soldiers. There are genes that do that? Yes. 
and using gene therapy, they're able to transplant those genes into regular soldiers. Gene therapy? I'll explain this part. With gene therapy, we can remove those genes which we know may lead to sickness or disease, and at the same time, splice in genes with beneficial effects, such as resistance to cancer, for example. In other words, we can overcome all sorts of genetic diseases, and at the same time, add genetic characteristics as desired. Okay. And so if you knew what genes were responsible for making the perfect soldier, you could implant them in the same way, right? Yes, we could. But it all depends on being able to isolate and identify those soldier genes. And in order to do Adam? that, it's helpful if you can study the Adam. genomic information of one of the greatest soldiers ever. Are you going to tell me who that greatest soldier ever? Oh, jeez. Holy crap. This is expanding. One of the greatest soldiers ever? Go on. The man they call the greatest warrior of the 20th oh, century. Oh, not me. You don't mean Big Boss. Oh, That's right. please. We've been working feverishly been to identify the genes responsible for his incredible combat skill. So far, we've discovered about 60 of the so-called soldier genes. So his body was recovered after all. Yes, and his cells have remained frozen in a cryo chamber. His genomic information is a priceless treasure to mankind. Priceless to the military, perhaps. His body was burned severely, but it was possible to restore his DNA profile from just a single strand of his hair. You people are amazing. And then you're going to transplant those genes into soldiers? Yes. We'll use what a process that I discovered called gene targeting. The strongest soldiers don't become what they are by acquiring their skills through training or experience. Uh -huh. We now know that hereditary factors are far more crucial for creating superior soldiers. Snake. We can't give them his body. It's potentially more dangerous than all the nuclear warheads on that island put together. I hear the terrorists are calling themselves the Sons of Big Boss. Oh, you have nukes. The Sons of Big Boss? Just end all the soldiers. Problem solved. Next gen special forces. Tell me about these next generation special forces. They started out as an anti-terrorist special ops unit, made up of former members of biochem units, technical escort units, and the nuclear emergency search team. Their purpose was to respond to threats involving next-generation weapons of mass destruction, including NBC weapons. Until they were at it, that is. Who's they? These guys didn't start out as regular army. Looks like a pretty international group. Mercenaries? Yeah. And it gets worse. Most of them were from a Merc agency that I think you're familiar with. They were part of Big Boss's private guard. And after Big Boss went down, the military just bought out all their contracts. Outer heaven. After that, they were merged with our own VR unit, Force 21, and retrained. If you ask me, these so-called next generation special forces should be called simulated soldiers. They have no real battle experience. Video game players, huh? Don't forget they've all been strengthened with gene therapy. They carry genes which make them excellent soldiers. Jesus. Don't get careless just because they don't have much experience. I thought using genetically modified soldiers was prohibited by international law. Yes, but those are just declarations, not actual treaties. The interesting thing is that nearly every member of the unit conspired in this attack. Mm -hmm. How could an entire unit be subverted to rebellion? They're calling it a revolution. Since they all went through the same gene therapy, they probably felt closer than brothers. They see the unit as their only family. The sons of Big Boss. But if they were regular army, they must have been interviewed periodically by army counselors. According to their files, they all got straight A's on their psychological tests. They all seemed like fine, upstanding, patriotic soldiers. But they all took part in the uprising? No. Several people didn't show up on the day of the exercise. That's why there was a resupply of troops. Was there any sign recently that something might be wrong? There was a report a month ago that they were acting strangely. Apparently, they consulted classified information about the soldier genes and performed their own gene therapy experiments. They can do that even without you? Well, our gene therapy process is almost completely automated. 
And besides that, they're all geniuses with IQs over 180. Even the existence of this genome army is a national secret of the highest order. We've been hoping to investigate this thing quietly and deal with it behind closed doors. I guess that's gonna come up later on, huh? If this is in order. High-tech special forces unit Foxhound. Your former unit, and one that I was a commander of. An elite group combining firepower and expertise. They're every bit as good as when I was commanding them. So they're still around. There are six members of Foxhound involved in this terrorist activity. Psycho Mattis, with his powerful psychic abilities. Sniper Wolf, the beautiful and That's deadly sharpshooter. Decoy Octopus, master of disguise. Awesome Vulcan Raven, giant and shaman. And Revolver Ocelot, Maybe specialist what? in interrogation. Well, I mean, you got away, formidable so. gunfighter. Looks like a lovely bunch of folks. Maybe and finally, yeah, in charge of them, Foxhound squad leader, Liquid Snake. Liquid Snake? Yes. And you're the only person who can stand My against opposite. him. opposite. Liquid to the solid. All right. Oh, cool. One more. Liquid Snake. Liquid Snake. The man with the same code name as you. Tell me what you know. He fought in the Gulf War as a teenager, the youngest person in the SAS. His job was to track SSA down and destroy mobile Scud missile nine. launching platforms. You were there too, I believe. The hell was that? Didn't then? you infiltrate Western Iraq oh, with a platoon of Green Berets? I was just a kid myself back then. Uh, the details are classified, but it seems that originally he penetrated the Middle East as a sleeper for the SIS. He was a spy for the British Secret Intelligence Service? But he never once showed his face in Century House. He was taken prisoner in Iraq, and after that there was no trace of him for several years. After you retired, he was rescued and became a member of Foxhound. I thought that by the time I left, they were no longer using code names. I don't know his real name. That information is so highly classified that even I can't look at it. Hmm. Here's a photo of him. <gasps> Pretty shocking, huh? His skin tone is different, but otherwise you two are exact duplicates. I have a twin? I don't know the details, but it seems so. That's why we really need you for this mission. You're the only one who can beat him. Now that I've met you, I know. You've got something that he doesn't. I can see it in your eyes. Why don't I find that thought more comforting? I don't know, man. Naomi's like a gene thing coming up. I'm saying, I'm saying I can't trust her right now. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying this. I need to borrow your scissors. What are you going what to this? do? Don't worry. I'm just going to clean myself up a little. Huh? I don't want to be mistaken for the leader of the terrorists. Got it. I guess it knows. Yeah, man. Uh. All right. Well, that, that's that's a pretty thorough background. I wish they would have put that up front. Honestly, they would have just forced you to do it. But in any case, that's the information. That last piece of information was kind of still relevant to just getting some more detail because I didn't know if I was supposed to be speculating on that. But I mean, she, Ni Naomi, is sort of helping out. But I'm just, it's just like, unless they have their own gene scientists, that's where everything gets kind of messy. I'm like, well, she was the only one that mentioned was mentioned in the narrative. And so I thought maybe she was sketch. But no, it looks like the other side also has their own people doing their things. So maybe they have sort of a Dr. Frankenstein-esque sort of thing going on with them. Yeah. So I'm going to end this episode here. I'm going to cancel this thing. And... I need to know what to do with the back of CD case and I'll be back to continue this as soon as I figure that out. So until then, don't forget to explore, engage, and inspire everybody.